into it. All right, first, let's just talk about, you know, what's going on in the single family home market and just, you know, how did we get to this point where there just aren't enough homes? There's record low inventory for single family homes and there's a record amount of individuals that are chasing these deals, not just owner occupants, but also investors running around to find single family homes to either flip or turn into rentals. But you know, why? Why do we have such a supply squeeze? Why aren't there enough homes? Well, we really have to look back to the last recession um, in 2008 to really understand kind of the motivation in the lack of new development. Just before the Great Recession, we saw massive new supply of single family homes being added. There were subdivisions going in all across the US and there was so much speculation as credit was very loose. It was very easy to get a mortgage regardless of your income. There were ninja loans. There were all types of you know no income mortgages. Um, lend mortgage brokers could kind of make up your income. There's all kinds of shady stuff going on. You've probably heard about it. You've watched the movie, The Big Short all kinds of things that led to there being a record supply of homes. Well, finally, once the straw you know, broke the camel's back and we saw home prices decline, values decrease, and homes go underwater, we saw not only homeowners, investors, individuals, we also saw developers left holding the bag for all of these different properties and homes that they had been building, you know, just based on speculation because there was so much inventory being traded. We had far too much supply and that gave a lot of lasting pain and left many scars to a lot of individuals, but especially developers and home builders, the ones that could really make it through. So you have to understand a lot of builders and developers they went out of business in 2008, 2009, and they have never went back into um, home construction and development. A lot of those builders and contractors, they just became a contractor, you know, fixing up homes. Maybe they changed careers, but just the number of developers decreased you know, pretty significantly. For the developers that were still around, they were very cautious of adding new supply because we still had all that supply from before 2008 that we still had to absorb. So long story short, we never really started building back again at the rate that we were before. Not that we wanted to build at the same rate that we were in you know, 2006, 2008, but the new levels were so far below, one, because of fear, two, because it was still difficult, it was more difficult to get loans, to get a mortgage and to get credit than it was prior to 2008. But all these combinations just did not lead to the massive building and construction of single family homes that we saw pre-2008. Now, fast forward to 2020, there's a huge rush on single family homes and developers and builders are scrambling to build enough homes to meet demand. 